This is the Sunday Business Page with John Delano. Good morning, I'm John Delano. Welcome to another edition of the Sunday Business Page. And our very, very special guest this morning is Jennifer Beam, who is the editor-in-chief of the Pittsburgh Business Times. Jen, it's good to be with you again. Thanks for being here. Great, thank you. It's great to see you as well. I really love the fact that you have just published a list, which I know people can argue about, but look at the list of the Pittsburgh Power 100. Who exactly are the Pittsburgh Power 100? Well, our Pittsburgh Power 100 is a listing of the most influential people in the Pittsburgh business community at this particular point in time. Um, we really try to keep it focused on business community and who you need to know to do business in this town. So it doesn't include um, currently elected officials because by the nature of their job, they're influential, doesn't include judges or other similar posts. So just again, to be clear, these are primarily business leaders, CEOs of CFOs of companies, mm -hmm. as well as the heads of various organizations that you deem influential in Pittsburgh? Yeah, I mean, it includes, um, it certainly has some CEOs. Um, it has some people who also are, you know, movers and shakers, people who you would call. Um, we actually looked at a series of questions um, that we asked ourselves um, when we made the decision, so, you know, does this person have the power to move the market? Do they have clout that reaches beyond their company? Um, is it someone that the governor or local leaders might call for help? Is it someone you need to know to do business? Um, and finally, is it someone who is likely to shape our futures? So, so the people had to meet at least one of those um, criteria in order to make the list. Well, there's certainly a lot of names on here that I recognize and that others would recognize. I did a quick count of your 100. I think I've interviewed 37 of them, which wow. is, was, it sounds like a lot, but it's not really even a half. I mean, not that I don't know some of the others. I do know some of the others. It's just that they haven't been on television. Mm -hmm. and you don't have to be on TV to be influential. That's for sure. So do people in the newsroom of, of the Pittsburgh Business Times come up with these names? Do people send them in to you? How do you get them? Yeah, so um, our editorial staff ultimately does make the selections, but we do solicit suggestions from our readers in the community at large. Um, and we also seek out the expertise of our reporters here. Um, but ultimately, it's a group of editors who sort through the names and select the 100. It's, it's never easy. There's always far more people who we would love to get on this list than we can. Um, and we are always looking for new names and suggestions. So if anyone has any um, suggestions, they certainly can reach out to me for next year's list. Yeah, next year's list. And yeah. and I take it, this is not necessarily a diverse list. I mean, you're not trying to have 50-50 men, women. You're not trying to make sure you have 15% African-Americans or you know, reflect the population. You're really looking for who's influential, right? Yeah, but we certainly keep, um, keep diversity in mind. And um, certainly there are people who are diverse. There are several women who are on this list for sure. Mm -hmm. The other thing I noticed this year was that you had another little category that you call the legends. And I thought it was interesting that you have it at the, it's sort of at the bottom of your list of 100. And I believe you list one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people, maybe. Um, two from the same family, Helen Hannah Casey and Hottie Hannah. Uh, actually, uh, Annie Hannah Sestra. I mean, you've got a bunch of Hannahs on this list. What's a legend? Yeah, so so we paired the three of them together into sort of one of the five um, legends that we have, so to speak. So they were just paired together for this year, but it's a new category for us. Um, there are people who over the breadth of their careers have been incredibly influential. Often they're people who've been on our Power 100 several, several times in the past um, and would likely make it on there several times in the future. Um, another example is Doris Carson Williams. She's done incredible work at the African-American Chamber of Commerce and was our Women of Influence Career Achievement winner last year um, for her longtime efforts to up uplift minority-owned small businesses. Well, I can't thank you enough, uh, Jen, for being on the show here. I, anybody who wants to see this list can go to the Pittsburgh Business Times website and have an, an easy opportunity to take a look or subscribe to the paper, for heaven's sakes. I do. And uh, I really appreciate you spending time with us today. Great. 
Well, thank you very much. And thank you for watching this edition of the Sunday Business Page. Have a great Sunday, everybody.